The new Huracan comes from a storied legacy, but does it live up to the famous Lamborghini name? So this is the new Lamborghini Huracan. Of course, like many of its predecessors, it's named after a famous Spanish fighting bull. Huracan means hurricane in its native tongue. It's also the Mayan god of fire, wind, and storm. Now, the Huracan has definitely been designed from inception with speed in mind. And yeah, it's a little more restrained in terms of design than some previous Lamborghinis, but it's definitely not a subtle car. Now, genuinely, my first impression, for me, it has retained that Lamborghini sense of design, style, and adventure. It's got that unique, distinctive presence that Lamborghinis, and almost Lamborghinis, solely have. But right now, the Huracan is saying to me, Justin, it is time to leave the refined elegance of the Parker Hotel here in Palm Springs and head out to the wilds of the desert. Well, here we are then, the Lamborghini Huracan out on the open road. Quite literally, I have found my way out of town into this magnificent series of canyons just on my way to the thermal racetrack. Obviously, driving in an urban environment, unless you want to make a lot of noise to attract sometimes unwanted attention, you would have what they call their anima button in Strada Road. It makes the chassis much more compliant, makes the gearbox a little bit more progressive and sort of responsible in the speed of the shifts. Now, if this is sounding a little too tame, perhaps, for your appetite, then don't worry. It doesn't take long for the Huracan to remind you that this is a full-blown Lamborghini. There's an intuition there that means you don't have to worry about that. The car will do the thinking for you. Feel that. Just magnificent through these corners. Now, remember, the genesis of the Huracan obviously has a deeply rooted engineering base with an awful lot of R&D behind it. So not just the gearbox has evolved, but just the whole structure of the chassis. It's that composite between aluminum and carbon fiber with all the composite strength and the lightness that comes with it. And you can definitely feel it on the road. That Canyon Drive is all about, it's safe in the way it lays down the power. It's safe in the way the steering response, the suspen suspension reacts. Safe does not equal boring. And what I really like about the Canyon experience is everybody can find a country road or a Canyon to put a hurricane through their paces. Only some of us get to go to the racetrack. Right from the moment this car was penned, of course, it incorporated that signature single line that goes from front to rear. You can see those elements of strong architectural panels, but definitely on the Hurricane, the increase in technology and design capability has allowed for a simplicity of the lines. And I would say that it's got a more relevant shape to the driving design of the modern day. The rear of the car, my friends, is a thing of beauty. That beautiful Lamborghini normally aspirated V10 is there for you to see as well as anyone walking by. Well, at this point, there is only so much I can take of talking about the Hurricane. Shall we? And the past few hours have only given me more reason to be enthusiastic about the new Huracan. It is a most worthy road companion. It's refreshingly complicit in the way it behaves and yet find that right piece of open road and it steps up its game. In true Italian style, I'm gonna try and describe the Huracan as mind, body, and soul. So, Mind equals technology. And obviously, the Huracan comes brimming with the latest technology that a modern sports car can offer. But the way the intellect, the intelligence 
of the system works is if you fall below any particular preset, the car will revert to the right settings for that sort of environment, depending on your input, the car's input, the car's dynamics, and the road. And now for the body. Like everything in life, it's all about a well-presented chassis. And that is the beauty of it. Increased torsional rigidity with less weight. And you do feel it. It's definitely responsible for this quick change of direction from the Hurricane. And last but not least, we have the Soul, which communicates to you via the screaming tones of that V10, the Italian symphony at work. <laughs> Speed dual clutch finally lays to rest the spectre of the Lamborghini transmission. Fast, ruthlessly efficient, and is blindingly quick in the way it responds. And of course, it doesn't matter whether you're driving at a racetrack or pulling up at a stop sign, the Anima electronics control that downshift and just make you feel like you're doing a lap of Monza, even if you're not. I've got advice for you. Unless you want a fistful of understeer, you have to adapt your driving style like you do for simply any car. One size does not fit all. The way to get the most out of the Hurricane is relax, back off a bit, get precise on your corner entry, tuck the front nose in on line, roll on the power, but with aggression. That way, the torque gets transferred to the rear and you get exactly what you need to get out of the corner. Yes, it is different from your 911 or your 458. No less rewarding and just as bloody quick. Okay, so is this the best Lamborghini ever? I promised myself I wasn't gonna say this, but I think the answer is definitely yes. Well, until they make a better one. I'll just pick it up once that plane f***s off. The private jets, they get the f*** out of here really quick. Mine's at the shop. Well, my friends, there's only so much a red man, the red man, is a visceral experience that just, oh, would make a nun drop her knickers.